everybody, theist, agnostic, atheist, guru Maharaj was saying, no one can seriously deny that they don't want to be happy, that they're not searching for happiness. Ramante yogino anante satchidananda chidatmani. The yogis, they're experiencing a pleasure that is higher than the sort of pleasure that one experiences in this world from erotic sensual activity. The Brahmanandis, their experience, the pleasure of Brahmananda, 10 million times greater than sensuous pleasure. If you multiply the pleasure of Brahmananda a trillion fold, it's not equivalent to a drop of the pleasure of Krishna Bhakti. That's a statement from Rupa Goswami. The senses, the mind, the intelligence, according to Guru Maharaj, all shadow representations of the spiritual aspect of the same. And that will be achieved through freedom for the senses or freedom from the senses. So in Bhagavad Gita, we hear Krishna say, Bhumir apo anulo bayu kam manu budhir evacha ahankara itya me bina prakriti rashtadha. Earth, water, fire, air, ether, mind, intelligence, and ego. Said so these are my inferior energy. And then he said, and that's so. Mind, intelligence, inferior. And jiva bhuta, apare amitasthanyam prakritim vidime param. Jiva is a para prakriti, superior energy to all of those things. Without controlled senses, there's no question of spontaneous love. We'll project that our experience of mundane love will project that as being, will impose that idea on spontaneous love of raga bhaktas. And that's an offense against divinity to think these pastimes are mundane, like the mundane affairs between men and women. So that means the mundane mind, the mundane intelligence, these mundane elements, they're covering uh, jiva. But jiva and her pristine glory has mind, intelligence, senses, everything. The stranglehold that the mundane erotic principle has upon the heart can only be broken by the beauty charm and sweetness of Krishna conception. And that is very good news for us, that the original cause of everything is ecstasy personified, is loving and affectionate and full of ecstatic uh, happiness, ever-expanding, ever-increasing happiness. And that we connect with that. What are we told? Hrishikena Hrishikesha Sevanam Bhakti Ruchate. By uh, engaging the senses in the service of Krishna. That will awaken the, um, their natural serving tendency so that the mundane aspect gradually vanishes and diminishes and vanishes altogether and the spiritual golden self comes out. And then from that position, dhira, undisturbed, no sense disturbance. Then when they hear the divine pastimes of Radharani, Krishna, and Braja Gopis, that will awaken spontaneous love, loving sentiments within them. They will say, well, these are very high things. Oh, yeah. Right, the very high thing is called Krishna consciousness. It's a very high thing. It's the most high thing. It's the greatest type of happiness.